Today on Project Betty, we're gonna upgrade a part of the Mustang that many people actually overlook, but is very important to overall enjoyment of your Mustang, and that is a good quality set of seats. The seats we're going with are the Touring 2 seats from Distinctive Industries. Now, Distinctive got Procar to provide their frames and foam, and then built their own upholstery to mimic the original look to give you a much more supportive seat. As you can see, much larger bolsters, a headrest, and these things are fully reclinable. They are sold as a pair and are gonna include universal sliders. You will have to get vehicle-specific brackets for your installation, and there's a little bit of hardware that's necessary, and we'll explain that as we go. So we're gonna show you how to assemble your Distinctive Industries Touring 2 seat to install in your classic Mustang. Like I said, the seats are sold as a pair and they include the universal tracks. You will have to get adapters for your year. Now these are 65 through 70 adapters and all the hardware to basically assemble the bottom of the seat is included. You will need hardware though to put the seat into your Mustang. Now, these are gonna be two inch long, 5 16 18 bolts. Inch and a half to two inch will work fine for that application. Now, as far as the headrests go, they are optional. They do include them, but there are no holes up here. So if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. But if you do want to use them, there's a way to install them. We'll show you that as well. First thing to do is install the slider. The slider is pretty easy to figure out. The handle obviously has to be in the front and these hooks go in the middle to make sure you have the right one. And they simply thread right in place. back and tighten the bottom. Then same thing here, release the slider. Now I have to put the adjustment wire in. It's gonna go from the handle here to this hook. Make sure your sliders are even. We're five notches down now. The seat adapter is gonna fit in here and it can go two ways. I prefer to put this bar towards the front of the seat. That will give you a little more leg room. If you have a shorter driver though, you can flip it this way. That'll allow you to get much closer. Now before we put this on, we're gonna install the hardware, which is basically going to be the studs that we mount our seat with. I mentioned when you slide this in here, it can be a tight fit. These can be bent slightly. If you're trying to go to the lower holes, you may even want to just grind these down just a little bit. The threads go down pretty far to make sure you get down to the lower holes. They've got three different height adjustment holes here. Basically the lower hole, the lower the seat's gonna sit in the car. So if you're six foot plus, I'd recommend going towards the bottom hole and then go here. And if you have a really short driver, use the upper hole. And then thread in the included bolts. I'll put the cover on the side. Use provided hardware. It's a self-tapping screw. This is gonna turn it in. So now we're gonna install the headrest. And basically, if you push down really hard, you can actually feel the opening where this is gonna go. You'll find the opening 
Put your thumb in the middle of it. Cut a small hole. Now you want to make sure the outside has the one with the release in it. Slide it down. If it doesn't go all the way around, don't worry about it. Just get it, make sure in place. Then we put the headrest in, it'll lock in that way. Those are both in place. And it's riding on the car. Now remove the factory seat, go underneath. There's four rubber plugs. Remove those plugs and then remove the factory nuts. I can put a new seat in place here. Line up the holes, push it down to place. Now we'll go under the car and reinstall the factory nuts. All right, once you're tightened down, you're going to replace the seat plugs. Repeat the process on the driver's side. The Touring 2 seats with Distinctive really changed the interior of our 65 Mustang project car. I mean, they, they definitely scream performance. I mean, I've got big bolsters, sides, and hips. I mean, I'm really in the seat. I've got tons of legroom as well. Headroom, I'm around 6'1", and I'm not touching the headliner. I still have room. A helmet, I'd probably be pretty close. So if you're around, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, or taller, and you want to go with a style seat, consider changing out your seat platforms. The 71 to 73 version will sit lower and give you a couple more inches of room. Besides that, though, huge improvement over the factory seats. Definitely what we're looking for for Project Betty.